right, so the results are in, and let's take a look at this. Now, usually I put the non-colored and colored version, but with 6S testing, uh, I'm testing with ES, low ESR capacitor and without. So that's what we're going to see. We're just going to see the colored version always. So what are we looking at here? On the left, we have the throttle noise level test, the bottom one with the low ESR capacitor, the uh, top one without. And on the right, we have the simulator aggressive flight maneuvers, the top without a low ESR capacitor, and on the bottom with a low ESR capacitor. And a low ESR capacitor is a must on a 6S setup. This is one of the most expensive ESCs and it still needs a capacitor. So keep that in mind. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Mamba. And, you know, on a 6S you can actually see somewhat of differences with the low ESR capacitor, which you couldn't. Now, don't forget the Mamba costs less than the T-Motor, but comes with an F7 Bluetooth and, and an ES. As you can tell, they both test really well. There isn't anything weird they're handling themselves very great however you do notice that the uh, t-motor outputs more power and that has a lot to do with the dead timing and the fet driver and they're using i don't think they're even using the same fet driver as everybody else you can see that we're getting a much lower voltage drop with the uh with the t-motor and basically my table was moving out of its place when this was running full throttle so immediately i can tell you that the t-motor is outputting or taking full advantage of the motor which is something really nice and something to be expected how much more it's I don't think it's super noticeable and I don't know how it will translate into real life, but it is like five, ten percent noticeable. I think here on the table at least. I can hear it too. So as you can tell here, up top we have the T motor and on the bottom we have the Mamba. These are both without the low ESR test. And as you can tell, they're somewhat similar, which is pretty amazing. However, you do notice that the T motor is outputting more power or taking full advantage of that motor. But again, I don't know how noticeable that would be in real life but it might be noticeable on some kind of thrust test. So I might think of uh, something to do on that perspective. Uh, they're both running really great. I did, they didn't have anything weird happen to them, which is something good, something you want to see. One, one, here's another little surprise. I don't want to spoil this surprise. I want to keep it for its official video. Here's another ESC. Hopefully you won't read the title of the thing so you don't know what an ESC this is. This is without a low ESR capacitor <laughs> on 6S. This is insane. Um, it's slightly better than the T motor here, which is pretty crazy. However, there is some downsides to this ESC, which I'll get into in a later video. But um, yeah, currently these are good ESCs. I don't say they're the best. I don't say they're the, obviously, I don't think they're the worst. I think they're in that average category right now. And again, it's still too early, but let me know what you think down in the comment section. And um, yeah, these are the tests for the T motor. And again, you just have to put that low ESR capacitor. I, I just, you just got to put that low ESR capacitor. This will do damage on the long run if you don't add a low ESR capacitor. And, well, everything's linked down below. If you could just click the link, that would really support the channel, guys. I need all the support I could possibly get. And I also do have a Patreon. That would be super great if you could join me there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.